This is gonna be so good. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did say so I'm fucking my girlfriend, right? No, no, no. No. I talked to my girlfriend about the issue, right? Got it, got it, got it. Sweetie. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's this fucking, I was filling out health insurance online. Now that we have an audience, who fucking does that here? Not nobody. There's too many people in here. Some of you motherfuckers do that. Who would do it? Be honest. Oh, you motherfucker. This guy was in front again. We knew, though. We knew he would do it, right? Yeah, we knew. He was the one who was like, take your shirt off. Wow. Go okay, so Go hold on. somebody else's home. When you joked, when you joked, what did you say? I said, hey, you're like a kissing machine, huh? <laughs> Okay, I take it back. It couldn't still work. Uh, dude. dude, about 18 times out of 20, it works. I mean, just say 9 out of 10. <laughs> Fucking guy doesn't do math. I'm out of there right away when he says that. But okay, last question. All right. Hi, my name is Kristen D'Elia. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never really noticed that. You never that. thought about that? No. If you're eating something. Oh, in general, yes. I never noticed squirrel smells bad is all I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. I'm not saying the place we go to. <clears throat> I'm just now saying we're talking. in general, if you're not eating and people are cooking, unless it's like, you know, something really user-friendly, like what, pop, you know, pizza? Popcorn? Yeah. Um, coffee? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, coffee. Uh, then it's, then it's like, you're like, oh, I don't want to smell that. You know, it's like gross, you know? Yes. Okay. Yes. I Good do. Input. I do <laughs> know that, but more often than not, smells of things make me want it. Oh yeah. 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 But not when you're hungry though. Right. When not, not when you're not hungry. Right. Sometimes I won't be hungry or won't realize I'm hungry and then I'll smell oh, yeah, a yeah, thing yeah. and I'll be like, okay. Uh oh, I, I say so too. Yeah. You say so? I say so. Okay. So anyway, happy Father's Day. Episode 114. Happy Father's Day. Yay. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Um, you can go on to patreon.com slash lifeline luxury. Still watch that lifeline lux uh, the live lifeline uh, that we have on lifeline luxury, which is awesome. Yeah, um, it's so good. It was really good. I want to do more of it. We got to do more of did it. Did you watch the whole thing? Rewatch? No, I did not watch the whole thing. Okay. But I lived it, baby. And yeah, let me tell you did. something. I lived it. I lived it. Yeah. I lived it. I loved it. And um, I would love to live it and love it again. Okay. I'm going to be in Duluth, Minnesota. Go to my thing. Nice. Uh, I'm going to be in... Oh, check these places out. Well, first of all, I'm doing Torrance with Brian Callen. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't nice. Know. Is that not... You don't look like that's LA. fun. No, no, no. It'll be fun. Okay. But I don't know where it is. You said Torrance. Uh, Torrance, yeah. Torrance. St. Louis, uh, Memphis. I'm, I added all these. Look Wichita. Going look back to this. Wichita. Look at these good places. Uh, McAllen and Beaumont, Texas. I don't know if that's good, but I'm going. It will be? Peterborough. Ontario, which is great, I guess. Lon London, Ontario, which I've been before. Lexington, Kentucky. For I, I've done that once before. The Opera House, dude. They got your boy at the Opera House. That sounds <laughs> sick. The Opera House? That's me. That's you my know, opener. You know some <laughs> wild <laughs> stuff has happened at the Lexington Opera House over the years, you know? Like, probably it's established in like 1781 or something. Uh -huh. you know? A lot of racist stuff. A lot of, a lot oh, of yeah. fondling. A lot right. of like, oh my darling, when when a guy's like going too far. <laughs> oh my darling, oh my darling, my darling. Let me, you know, wiping his with, also, a, with a handkerchief. Yes, my, also, my, 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 my darling. A lot you know? of people like so overwhelmed with the show that mm -hmm. they were watching mm -hmm. that they just broke into, <laughs> burst into tears. That's yeah, broke down. Um, and uh, and I'm gonna be in Australia and Auckland, New Zealand, New Zealand, mate. Damn, you're Coming all up. over. I know, I've been so many different uh, places, dude. He's going all over, Johnny Cash. I mean, I've been so many different places. So what it is, is it's Happy Father's Day. What it also is, Foreign. is sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com slash lifeline luxury. Already you didn't say said it. the website, patreon.com slash lifeline luxury. What it is, is Happy Father's Day, he says. So what far. it is, is Happy Father's Day. 
Okay. Yeah. What it also is, is subscribe to my solo podcast, The Private Record. It's on and <laughs> popping. It's on and popping. All right, Matt, uh, you know. And you know what? If you have a question so you want to be on this show, click the link in the description below. Or, you know, just go to watchlifefine.com. Or you could yeah. also leave us a message on the hotline. I'm not saying the number, uh, but you can find that. And then you want one-on-one and one-on-one, one-on-one, one-on-one advice sessions with me. Honestly. Go to mattdelia.com. Matt, if somebody was listening to the first to this podcast for the first time, they wouldn't know what was happening and they'd turn it off. No, they would say, this is my new favorite podcast. Oh, All right, Matt. Okay, okay get okay, the Lifeline okay, merch okay. at lifelinemerch.com. With the t-shirt. Baby, um, baby, how do you like my hat? I, I like it. I got it for you. You got it for me, yeah. But I got it. I did, uh, it seems like I'm a nice guy for getting it for you. It does seem like that, yeah. But I didn't. I, I, I wasn't nice about it. Just what? You weren't nice about it? Would you, you put anthrax on it? No, you know what happened. I know, but it was a mistake. I'm pretending I don't know. Oh, yeah, I got viewers. that for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let's tell him want to tell him why don't you explain because it doesn't make any sense to me maybe this Makes time no explaining it you'll make more sense so Kristen my wife my wife I do a great poor partnership but um, um, she orders too many things from Offer Up. oh is that right <laughs> a round of applause a round of applause for Kristen for ordering th too many things on Offer Up. a standing ovation sure. So she offers Offer too many things. Offer is sick though, and it's easy to get lost in it. So Kristen, I understand. Yeah. So she'll put like, you know, she'll be like, I found this, literally said to me, I, I found this amazing couch. And it's usually, this is not even a joke. Okay. And it's usually uh, like $2,500, but I got it. I got it for $85. What? That was my reaction. That's crazy. Then she says, from China. And I said, what? oh, but then it, it's not, it's it going to break. Isn't it's going to be this you big, you know? You bought, yeah. Dude, it's on. And so, <laughs> she, <laughs> this big. But she's, like, but she's like, I figured, I figured, you know, even if it is bad, it's worth a shot. I'm like, no, they just fucking stole money from you. Yeah. $85. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a lot. They don't even. They're, oh, it's, yeah, hurry it's up! Too make, much. Oh, hurry up! Make it. Make the chair now. Hurry! You know, okay. you like know, they don't. The voices, they never made it before. The voices. They're, no, they're make speaking, the chair now. They're hurry. speaking their language, though, um, not English. But yeah, but it's like when you watch Gladiator, you know they spoke a, a traditional Latin, but they're 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 still speaking English in it. I hate how in movies like that they speak English, but with an accent. accent. I know. I want them to see bro and dude. Like fuck either it, I don't, speak who cares. English. Yeah. Or do the language and do subtitles, but, one. but just, but also just speak English. Yeah, you're not fooling anybody with no. the French. Are you gonna do a French Revolution story and everyone's gonna have a French accent? Fucking Nick it's, Nolte's it, gonna have a French accent. You know, it's really stupid. It's really stupid. He's gonna like do, work on his dialect yeah, as a French accent. It's really what? stupid. No, I want there to be a movie where they they do a a a period piece in like Italy or 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 you know China, and it, it's literally people are saying bro and dude, how we talk now. Until you said the matter. brown dude part, I was going to say, I think that exists, but yeah, not the brown dude part, yeah. obviously. Well, they did it. My favorite one that they did it with was, and they they, they didn't, uh, was the uh, the one with that Tom Cruise did about Hitler. Valkyrie. Yeah, and, and, and everyone had an accent but him. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Are you sure? No. No, I mean, I believe you, but just say yes to, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. I need to watch uh, it again to see that. Yeah. And he was just like, nah, I, I, he didn't do it. And I was like, that's awesome. How much of a mess was that set? Oh, what do you mean? Like just the way it was every day making that movie. How chaotic was that movie? You know, it's a Nazi movie. Brian Singer directed it. He did? Uh, yeah. Wow. A notorious crazy man criminal. Yeah. Uh, no, Tom is he, Cruise is, is a notorious crazy man, non-criminal, but crazy. And he played the guy. I he plays Tom the guy who Tom criminal. tried to kill... Hitler from within the army, right? Like, what's that guy's name yeah. again? Uh, Dave. Dave Smith. <laughs> Dave. No, it's like Schellenbacher or some shit like that. Oh, really? It's not Dave? Schellenbacher? No, no, it's not Dave. It's cool. You know what it is? It's cooler than Schellenbacher, but what's his name? Tim. Von. Tim, it's it, oh, dude, it's Tim Valkyrie. Von something. Tim Valkyrie. Von Stoffenberg. I was oh. close. Schellenbach, Stoffenberg. Stoffenberg, dude. Yeah. Wow, well, Tom Wilkinson's in it. He's so good. Oh, he's a man, dude. He, he died, right? He died. Yeah. R.I.P., dude. Colonel Claus von Stoffenberg. Oh, this cast is amazing. Yeah. Terrence Stamp, Eddie oh. Izzard is in it. I don't remember. Maybe I didn't even see this. Kenneth Branagh has, I, I, I Kenneth Branagh has no lips. Yeah, we've talked about okay. that. We don't, we've oh, talked okay. about okay, that. Okay, okay. Dude, 
uh, Bill Nye, he, the science guy, he <laughs> is in it. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Nye, he, the science guy, he. God, nobody knows how to say his name. You know, is it Nye? Is it Nye? Is it? Well, we know what it's not. Is it Nye? We know what it's not. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 yeah. No, it's not that. Okay. Um. So anyway, that's that's it. They need to. You know what? They didn't do this movie. If they made this movie now, oh, could you, well, first of all, they wouldn't make it now. But second of all, there would be there would be like so many non-white people in the in the German parts, which would be hilarious. Non-white? Would yeah. they, you think they cast a black guy in the Nazi army? POC, yeah. That because, is because so the, not true. Because of the, the Hollywood. You can't. Hollywood, that would do it. be so crazy to do it's that. It's going down. A now. black Nazi Guarantee in it. the German army? Guarantee it'll happen. What will happen? Hollywood will make a movie where a black guy will be, or, or an Asian guy will be in a German Nazi. Yeah, 100%. I disagree, oh, dude. Right, That's okay. just too much. Eat my shorts. That, that, oh. <laughs> Eat my shorts. That ship has sailed, dude. Maybe in 2022 Bro. or something, but no, nobody, nobody, no. That's not a thing that's going to happen. Okay. That ship has sailed. That ship has sailed and, I hope you're my, right. and eat my shorts. You, you know, they did the, the they, they made the, um, eh, who cares? Guess, guess. If this hat is extremely uncomfortable or not. Oh, I I would already guess. I know. If I mean, it, it already gave me a raging headache. Yeah. Well, if a hat and has cancer, it gave me cancer. If a hat sure. has lights in it, it's it's uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so anyway, definitely true. Um, but yeah. So that is. Uh, so yeah, get the get the. We got to do another lifeline live. We got to do another lifeline live. Yeah. Um, definitely the most fun I've ever had making this show, and the most fun you ever had in your life. It's gotta be. I don't remember every single episode, but it's got to be the best episode, right? Yeah, I would say. either this it, it or thrives on live. Patreon. It thrives, thrive live, right? Yeah, that's thri- what you're saying. It thrives live. Um, so it's s- uh, summer. Mm-hmm. Okay, worst hype man, worst hype man. So it's, it got molested in summer. <laughs> so yeah. it's summer. Yeah. Uh, all right, and uh, we're in Lifeline, and we're doing uh, some stuff. You want to? Want to? Yeah, do let's the start videos. Cute. Hey guys, uh, we need your oh, we need your cute. advice. Watching the show, looking for some inspiration. So you're in a fast food pickup situation, coffee maybe. Okay. Uh, four or five people in front of you in the queue. So you English. get to the front, get your order. Back to the car, something's missing. Oh, yeah. oh. Um, a critical part of the order: the syrup for your pancake, the certain type of milk for your coffee. Yeah, you get to cut the, do- the dip or sauce He's or something for you your you food. Cut key part of the order can't go home without it back in is it okay yes. to go straight to the front uh, of, of the queue yes back to the person that served you say hey forgot this blah, 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 whatever um good question my wife is american very good at this straight to the front no problem yeah. i support this i feel a bit weird doing it mm, really do you have to address the people in the line explain what happened yeah. uh, everyone thinks you're being a dick um what's the move here did you help Thanks, guys. Yeah, but um, am, I, am I wrong? Am I wrong if I say like, uh, "Hey, you forgot the syrup. Can can you give me the syrup?" Everyone knows you're you're that you, you know what I mean? That you they messed up. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you're being. It, nobody thinks you're being a dick, right? Well, people might think it, really? but, but the bottom line is that you are not. No, you so get, that's what matters. Whether people think it or not doesn't. People think really well, dumb yeah, and people wrong think, shit all the time. People might, might think like, oh, that, that guy's stalking yeah. me. And you're not, right. You know. and there's nothing you can do but, about it. And they might think that guy's a dick, but right. they'd be wrong about that too. Right. Yeah. No, that, that's nothing wrong with that. No. Uh, I, no, no. I, I've thought about this before because that happens. And I, and I go, oh, thank God I'm not somebody who... I literally think in my head, thank God I'm not somebody who feels about, bad about doing this. Excuse me. You forgot the thing. Can I have a... Yeah. You know? I mean, this is... Politeness, obviously, is a good quality. But it, in some people, it's just, it just runs roughshod over them. And they're just like, eh, What eh. does runs roughshod mean? Like it, it owns never heard you. That. You've never heard the term runs roughshod over you? Like it takes control over you. And, and oh, you wow, have, I like that term. Yeah. I'm going to say that on my okay. podcast next time. But stealing it, you know, and people, stealing and it. And people are going to think that I said it. And people Robot. who haven't listened to this podcast are going to hear me say it. And congratulations are going to be like, oh, Chris kind of talks cool. And you know what? Everyone will have stole it. Everyone will have already heard the term, so they'll know what you mean, and no one will think. Yeah, but that. There, a lot of them are going to be like, "Oh, I remember that term." Yeah, I got to bring the term back. Okay. So that's, that's the kind of stuff that I fucking busy my day with, honestly. Don't let politeness run roughshod over you. Well, stop saying it because I want to. Okay. I want to act like it's my. Don't thing. let 
politeness yeah. control you. Yeah, because honestly, it will run <laughs> roughshod over you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. Also, He's, it is so... That baby was so cute. That baby was really cute. It's funny, though. It's going to grow up to sound like that guy. Was it a... I wonder if it was a girl or boy. There's, uh, oh, what, yeah, it might be a girl. It was when, pink, right? I thought it was a girl. But, uh, it had pink thing on. But uh, no, uh, it's so not possible to tell. That looks yeah. like... No, no, no. To, uh, you mean boy or girl? When they're babies. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, know, I know. Well, oh, but we, okay. No one was talking about that. Well, I know, but we're talking and then somebody says one now? thing and then somebody says a new thing. And So you just brought that up now? Just like everything that, else, fine. everyone no, I does. I know, but it was, I, I thought it sounded like it was in reference to something before that. Okay. And so defensive, even about things that didn't happen. <laughs> <clears throat> you know? Bro, let me tell you something. People love this podcast, okay? Yes. They, they love it. They, yeah. they, they love it. And they love the dynamic, the brother dynamic that we yes. have. Yeah. Now, I get it. I love this podcast. Yeah. Now, not enough people love it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, get it out there. Mm -hmm. Tell people about it. This is the best podcast. Yeah. I mean, you know, unless, you, unless you're not into brotherly stuff or... Unless you hate brothers. You're not like Banza Sick and... It, if you don't like banter, if you want it more a, a, a podcast about like, you know, if you're like, you know, want like self-improvement or something, this is, you know, I get it, but it teeters into that sometimes. It does actually, advice. it does. Yeah. It is that, but my, but my, my wife will watch just like a fucking, oh, you know what? If you like true crime podcasts, this isn't it. This is not for you. So there we but, go. But I like true, pro true crime podcasts and I would also like this. I also like this one. Yeah, same. So just because you like true crime doesn't mean you won't like this. Basically, this is for everybody, including true crime fans, including self-improvement fans, including... Being so inclusive. Inclusivity fans. Including, including blacks, gays, uh, Asians, transgender, non-binary, uh, whites too, but only uh, because we have to, because, you know, down with the whites. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, all and those just people... Just politi po politically correct. So nervous. All those people... <laughs> That Chris listed, this podcast is... Except for whites. For you, except it's for whites. It's not for whites. It's not for whites. And honestly, it, it, it's for whites, wink, but it's not for whites. Uh, to be, like, politically correct, whites, no. What if Joe Biden said that? <laughs> <laughs> um. So, wait, but... Uh, well, he basically does, you know? Yeah, he, he really does. Oh, dude, did you see the thing where he smiles at the camera? At the... When they say, what do you think about Trump getting convicted? You must have seen it, right? Yeah. And he just goes... Bro, it's... I didn't see that. The most ballin thing, and it's so funny, and he has no idea he's doing it. It's so there we go. It's funny. The one thing he's still good at, because obviously, even the greatest defender of Joe Biden has to admit, yeah, yeah. guys lost, <laughs> lost yeah, a few steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny that the last thing to go is like that baller winking, <laughs> winking baller <laughs> instinct. You know what I mean? Like, you can still do it, even that if he doesn't know really funny. what's going on. That's it's a always, great way to put it. It's always been his thing. I'm going <laughs> to say that on my podcast. You know? Uh, all right, next one. Next one, yeah. Chill What's in. up, guys? Josh here from Victoria, BC. What I need advice on is my friend, instead of listening to a podcast or music or audiobook in the car, she will take her phone, put it on Netflix, connect it to her speakers in her car, <sighs> and then she will put the phone into her purse and just listen to the audio oh, of, of the show? Netflix show. Oh. And she says it's usually like Suits or Grey's Anatomy. And that's the fucking craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So I need to know if I need to call the police or if I should just fucking kill her. Because obviously she's a serial killer and she's days away from just going yeah. on an absolute rampage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, what one I thing about this guy, just real quick uh -huh. before doing, nobody's ever loved his own mother more than this guy. <laughs> Sends her flowers every week if he doesn't bring them to her doorstep. And she lives three hours away. <laughs> that, that, that's not true. It's not true, uh, and I'll tell you why. What? Oh man, be okay. Be because although he probably loves his mother so much, yeah. No, the, the person who loves their mother the most in yeah. the world is a black guy. <laughs> okay. And you know that. Okay. 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 So of all so, the white yeah, guys, right? Okay. So in the world, yeah. this right. guy yeah. loves his mother the most, like the most hardcore, like you know, like that's my mom. Yeah. Right? No, I, I, I totally get what yeah. you're saying. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, about this, I have I have to, uh, something to say. Uh, is it weirder that she's you putting on a show that doesn't necessarily isn't hard to follow? The, like if she was putting on, you know, Mind Hunter, mm -hmm. I think that would be bonkers. But here's the thing: what you know what makes it hard to follow? Mm. 
that you can't see anything. It doesn't matter what the show is. <clears throat> it's not like yeah, it's I a single it. person giving a monologue to the camera or like he said, a except podcast. For, except for she's doing it for background noise, obviously, at that point. She has to be. It has all right, to be. Yeah, if you're going to play devil's advocate, I get if it's if it's not about following the show at all, mm. if it's just about like it's her preference for white noise, mm. then that's different. But that's not what he said. Let's assume she does it to quote unquote watch the show. Yeah. Well, then, then that's, you know. she's absolutely fucking yeah, crazy, true. and he's totally correct. True. Good point. Uh, but yeah, if it's just white noise, I mean, people listen to weird, weird, weird shit. I know. I used to know a guy. You literally used to listen to whale sounds. Uh, that's fine though. It's just background noise. I mean, that is a thing that people make and sell as audio. So that's still way less weird than watching Grey's Anatomy. Also, Grey's Anatomy. It has like 12 main characters. How do you ever know who's talking? Well, they definitely all sound the same too. you're not watching the show. <clears throat> it's always that music. Maybe it's that. Dude. Did you guys hear the story about the Grey's Anatomy writer who said she had cancer and all that? And no. it turned out was lying? No. But oh, man. I don't know if that's for this show. Maybe we okay. should save that for later. But oh, okay. that's something worth talking about for sure. Cool way to bring up something and not talk about it. But that's fine. Let's go to the next one. Sorry, guys. Oh my God! What's going on, Chris and Matt? I hope you guys are doing well. Hope the family is all good. Um, question for you. Actually, before I start, there is definitely a tree that smells like cum. I remember in high school, I every time this. we walked past right. it, everyone was like, "Oh, that's the cum tree." So everyone knew it as the cum tree. So wow, is that? Um, my main question is: I have been asked to officiate a wedding oh. for one of my two best friends in next year, February, and would like to ask you guys for a couple of tips. I am thinking of starting the reception um, when they come in, I'll be dressed as a full Pope, you know, going full Pope outfit, That's Pope good. hat, everything, just, okay. you know, rocking it, taking the piss a bit. Can be a disaster. Um, can be a disaster. So, any tips will be great. There's going to be about over 300 people there. So I'm, I'm shitting myself a bit, um, but they've asked me to do it because kind of funny not really but I mean they think I'm kind of funny so that's fine that's good. Um, good. and I can be a bit rude and all that because they're not very churchy people so mm, right. any tips would be great I love you guys love the podcast all the best well 300 people isn't that much it's not <clears throat> no it's like a Brian Callen show I mean <clears throat> so dick but uh, yeah no it's a lot um, especially for somebody who doesn't do that it's a lot 300 people is a lot for a wedding no 300 people is a big wedding yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. I thought three, were, I'm saying I was making a joke about an audience size. Yeah, no, like I to got talk you. in front of the people. That's yeah, a problem. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. dude, just get up there and just fucking wing it. Okay, just get up there and just throw out a few jokes. If they land great, if not, you know what? You're working on them, mm. or uh, you, you you start doing different ones, or whatever. You learn. You, you live and learn, dude. It's not but a, a big deal. Wedding isn't the place for that, right? You wouldn't work you in your don't material. Work but, on material at a no, wedding no, when no, you're no, the no. officiator. Uh -uh. Yeah, I have no. Remember Nokia. So, I have no tips. Just not even a penis one, not even a penis. Tip. So dumb. Just don't bore anybody, dude. That's it. Yeah, don't do it too long. That's it. And and here's you're not a professional, so too long is boring. You're, yeah, it's gonna. But you know, at least you're not a chick, though. Chicks make the boringest. You know, like guys are just dumb when they're bad at speeches. You're like a dumb guy's bad at speeches. A woman can be the... Dude, a woman can be like so smart and great and fun to be around. And then they'll give a speech and they'll be like, and that was the moment that we met. And you're like, oh, I'll stab my eyes out. You know what I'm realizing right now? I don't think I've, I've been wrong. ever listened to, to a, a woman. single speech woman. at a wedding. Oh, really? I don't know if I've ever heard a good or a bad one. And I'm going through my mind. I'm realizing... It's because I've never, ever, ever listened attention. when people are talking. Stand, when they do the standing up and talking at a wedding, I'm out. Even if I'm sitting there, I'm just checked wow, out. Take out my so phone. so rude. It is dude. rude. But I just, I, I'm like thinking there's no <laughs> version of me that would listen to that shit. I don't care. Dude, that's so rude. I don't care. The person's nervous. <laughs> they wrote it. It's probably bullshit anyway. Well, it's, it's deeper. Um, <laughs> dude. I it's just like come on with the speeches at weddings. Yeah. Let's you, get it going. Get yeah, it going. Get everybody want, everybody wants to go, go to home. sleep. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> wants to go home. Let's all get in bed. It is weird that everyone just wants to go home. Everybody the older get. wants to go home. The older you get too. When you're young, you do not want to go. You don't sure. want to go home. Yeah. You don't sure. want to go home. And then you get to be a certain age and you're like, 
All I fucking want to do is go home. I mean, dude, it, it starts when you're young. Calvin's four and he's like, I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. Right. Well, yeah. And, 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 and then that turns to, oh, let's not go home. Let's stay out. Mm -hmm. And then what? what is it where you're just like, oh, dude, I came out and this is a big mistake. I got to go home. Turning 30, It's different for everyone, but yeah. yeah maybe 30-ish. Bro, I mean. Because, yeah, in my 20s, I always wanted to be out. How about this? Partying and all How that. about this? I still have it in me to be like at, 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 at 3 p.m. I'm like, dude, I'm going to go out tonight. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go to the clubs. You, you? not not like, but oh, like oh, stand comedy. Up. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or even I'm gonna go get a coffee at nine. I'm gonna go to Coffee Bean or as Calvin calls it, Coffee Beans, and I'm gonna go at nine. Calvin's mom now just adding yeah, S's yeah. to things. Our mom just adds S's to things, and so and, and um, and I go and I and then I and then at like six, I'm like. Ooh, I actually don't know. And then at mm -hmm. at eight, I'm like, there's no fucking way. Dude, it's so funny how we just like straight up don't know ourselves. You know? I know. Like I still think stuff, not that, but stuff like no, that. that. And by the time, when the time comes around, yeah. I'm, I know. without fail, I'm like, I don't really want to do that at all. I know. Who do I think I am? I know. I know. You say yes to something two months out. That'll be fun. Time comes. Why would I ever say yes to that? I don't know me. What's going on here? Anyway, yeah. that's going to end up happening to this guy for officiating the wedding. He's going to say yes now. And then when the time comes, he's going to be like, what did yeah. I say yes for? I don't know what the Pope thing is that he was thinking about. It's a joke. Him, he wants to dress like the Pope for the, to officiate a wedding. Disaster. So, yeah. Uh, but that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. that would be actually funny. Do yeah. that for sure. Yeah, disaster. So. <laughs> yeah, dude. I think you have to be able to like take the Pope thing off. Like you could come out like that, but then yeah, yeah, yeah. pull it off. And totally. You don't want to be given a serious speech time. Like this like naked gun. And yeah, the, the mouth fixture comes off. That'd be dope. And yeah. he's just naked. Well, Whoops. that would be less. Dope. Whoops. Anyway, get married. Whoa, and runs. Um. All right. Next all right. one. Hey, you guys. Um, Laura from Canada here. Hi, Laura. The thing that I need advice is on is that is she singing? I spontaneously like to talk in a British accent oh, from okay. time to time. It's well. pretty spur of the moment. Just kind of comes out here and there. Um, and my fiance absolutely hates it. He thinks yeah. it's the most annoying thing in the world. <laughs> sure, sure. I think it's hilarious. As, as it would be. And I think it's so much fun. Well, so, it's probably fun. Yeah. Am I in the wrong? Like, do I need to stop doing that because he no. thinks it's annoying? He, uh -uh. Or does he need to lighten up and get a better sense he, here's of humor? The, here's what I think. It's not Let about. Let me know. It's not about. Love you guys. Love this show so much. Thank you, oh, Thank Laura. you. It's, um, you need to, you need to do it better for him. <clears throat> You need to do it better if you're going to do it. You think the solution is getting a better English accent? No, you think no. he's going to turn around for that? No, no, no. No way. You, you need to do it in a better way. You don't need to actually be oh, oh, sounding oh, oh. British. Okay, so what, so what constitutes to, better you need in this to do, It's like when Kristen is annoying with my shit, annoyed with my shit, I think, okay, that's not working. <clears throat> I'm going to figure out how to make it so she starts laughing again. And then I go for it and I keep going and I keep working it and I work it. And then finally she laughs. <clears throat> poor, or she doesn't. Poor Kristen, you know? Yeah. And um, just and honestly, you know who's, who's just, getting worked on. But you know? You, know who's, you know who's awesome? What's awesome for this? You know what's awesome for this? Here's my advice. Have a kid. Have a kid. Yeah. Dude. I do everything now. It's just to Calvin. You know, I'll do it to Billy too, but he's not old enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for Calvin, I, sometimes I'm in Calvin's bedroom with him and I'm just like, oh no, what are we going to do next? And I'm like, this is, I'm like, I am a, am I making him cr a crazy person? Yes. Like I I, 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 the other day I was just, he likes when I be this Italian guy. When I be, yeah. We call him uh, Billy Bolognese. Yeah, I've seen that. Dude. I've, and, seen, I've seen Billy Bolognese before, yeah. yeah. And what do you think of Billy Bolognese? Uh... I like that Calvin well, likes it. You don't cross sure. him though. You don't. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't do that. Um, I uh, he loves it. He loves it all the time. Always. He never wants me to stop doing it. So I mm. just do it to him now. So honestly, that's great advice. Have kids so you could do a British accent. Or I don't know because I don't know, it, baga. there's a lot to consider when having a kid. You got to get pregnant. Yeah. You got nine months before the kid comes, and then right when the kid comes, you still got to wait at least two yeah, years. Yeah, you do have to wait two more, years. Two, more, more, even more than two more, years, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So in the meantime, maybe become a preschool teacher. Why? For the same reason. Oh, I see. 
There's 20 kids around now. You can't just become a preschool teacher, you though. You can in less time than it takes to have a kid that really? wants to last three years? Yeah, dude. Oh. It doesn't take three years to become a preschool. Or a just pre- go to the park, <laughs> find or, some kids, and be like, I don't know what's going on. That's possible. You might get a job for that, or at least get <laughs> well, suspicious that, looks. But, yeah. but, but you could also break up with that guy, find a different guy yeah. who has a kid already, mm. but is divorced or separated. Yeah. Or you can find a guy that likes it. Maybe it's not that funny or good how you're doing it. Well, I think even she might. It seemed like she might be kind of conceding that. Oh, really? You know, or the okay. possibility that it's not that funny, but she likes it. And she thinks it's funny. So my like, if I do a British accent to my wife, I won't concede that it is not uh, funny. No, but it is. It's deeper. But it is for sure highly annoying. It's annoying no matter highly. what. Highly. Even if it's funny. Oh. That, when you're in a but certain mood. Hurt me to the mood, core, you know. Hurt me to the core no, not when you, when you it. do it. No, I know. I know, I know, I know. I'm saying. I, I know. Even when something is good and funny if you're their partner and you see it all the time you're just like tired yeah. you want to read you yeah. want to focus on something and they're just like hello you're just like shut the fuck up dude, dude. i was doing it to calvin i, I mean I, I, there, there might be i mean the um, percent of the time i'm doing something silly or a voice to him is like he's gonna grow up with an accent like it's like it's so it's so much that I, I'm often like, wait, I gotta be a real dad. Actually, hold on. What else do you do besides Billy Bolognese? What else you got? Billy Bolognese. I got Nigel like this. Mm-hmm. Um, I got Frank Jansen. Oh yeah, what's um, who's Frank? Jansen? He makes a face. Yeah, he just makes a face. What face is Frank Jansen? That's all he does. That's all. That's it. Dude, imagine knowing Frank Jansen. <laughs> that's all he did. He would have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, what even is that face anyways? Like, disgust or, yeah. or surprise? Or what is that? Like, what the heck's going on? Oh, yeah. oh okay, okay. Anyway, um, and then there's other ones too. I can't think of them right now. They, they escape me at the moment. Mm, okay. Um. Anyway. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, we gave you a lot of ideas. Mm-hmm. But the, I think the bottom line is, for the sake of your love for this guy, maybe cut down on the British accent <laughs> around him. <laughs> Because if you love him, you got to understand he's not always going to want to hear it. Just trim it around him. Do it around other people. I also do a thing where... And have a kid. I also do a thing where we're, he's in his phone pit and he's like, come in the phone pit. And I and I say, well, Calvin. <laughs> Loves himself so much. <laughs> no, it's so funny to see him do it. But to see him like like it. But I say, well, well, Calvin, I think I'm a little too cool to come in that phone pit and mm-hmm. then i turn around and hit my head on something no, that's good dude yeah. that's always it's, good yeah it's like jerry lewis is back alive yeah i mean he, he bragging, thinks it's bragging. so funny and uh, that's comedy babe <laughs> but he thinks it's so funny and then he says uh, the other day he made me do, he was like come in the phone pit and he wanted me to do it and i go like oh yeah i think i'm a little too cool to come in the phone pit and i just go like this and i fall and he says no no i want you to do like like this and then he goes up and he says but that's too cool to be in a phone pit and then goes and hits his head on the thing. So now I have to be, beat the shit out of myself. For How about when kids just like boss you so yeah, hard I'll, and I'll, you have no choice? Boss you? Dude, Calvin will go, look, look. Yeah, he look, does do look. That. Like, like he's like, look, this is what you did. This is what you did. Mobster. Yeah. Billy Bolognese. Exactly. Dude, yeah. Billy Bolognese. So racist against Italians. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm Italian, so. I was just thinking that when she said this, you know how people say it's racist to do accents? Why no. is it not racist to do English accents? It's not racist because it's not racist to do accents. No, but, but if you well, were to pose it to people who think it is, yeah, because of because of the 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 way that it it the history of it and the how it's been portrayed. It's like why is uh, it not racist uh, to put uh, on o- it. only blackface, not like you know if yeah, you put yeah, an yeah. Indian yeah. face on? It's not well, racist. that would be brown face and still bad. Right, right, right. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. walking it back, you know. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> Hey, oh, it's Chris, Matt, a couple of episodes ago, you had a guy on asking which of these English cakes table. you would pick first, yeah. A or B, to which you guys said. Oh, yeah. There's only one to take. Yeah, it's it's the one you were going to yeah. take. I would, <laughs> frankly, question everything. Yeah. The now, lopsided. That she wants it's to take one. if you take the fucking other one. Yeah. You then shared this poll on your Instagram story from a guy called Brandon, who I had an in-depth discussion with on <laughs> FaceTime. And I'm here to tell you why you are all wrong. Oh, okay. As you can see, the cake box is separated into three different sections, with each section having three cakes. Let's say this is row A, this is row B, and this is row C. In oh. this case, all the cakes in oh. row C have been removed, oh, and the first cake in either. row B has been removed. So therefore, logically, the next cake you would take is B2, and then B3, and so on. Huh. Now we need to discuss 
what happens if the cakes are in transit. Because three cakes yeah. are in their own section, they are protected from any potential movement damage. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. Whereas the cakes in row B aren't. Fair enough. They can yeah. roll and damage each other. So by keeping row A intact, uh -huh. you're essentially protecting those three cakes yeah. from damage. I'm going to use this cake box as an example. <laughs> wow. Now, 90% <laughs> of the world are right-handed. Uh -huh. So if you were to pick this box up and hold it, uh -huh. you would hold it with your left hand, putting uh -huh. all the weight uh -huh. to yeah, the yeah, side, yeah. and you would open the box using your right wow. hand. You would take cake B, oh, wow. leaving all the weight I get to the why left he likes hand side. Our podcasts. Yeah. Well, that's the most boring video of all time. No, it's not. No. Uh, thanks, Rob. Rob does all the. Rob does so much of the editing for like the joke stuff that we do, like on his Instagram. last he puts post, on Instagram. He really proved yeah. me right, and I'm right. really happy. I'm about shocked. That. I'm still shocked. I can't believe you thought otherwise. But I honestly think that it was rigged. But um, the, I was so right too. Fifty five percent of okay. the words were well, mine. Yeah, I mean, so right would be seventy, but mm. but. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I I, I, didn't, I, I yeah. didn't see there was a C row. It looked like I thought there were just two. Did you guys? To to me, it looked like six cup yeah. spots, six cupcake spots, yeah. and one was removed. And that not and, nine. And I got to say that does change it a little bit. It does. Yeah. I still might. I think if I without still, thinking it through, yes. I would still take the one I said I would take. But this is this is a fair point. My thing is I think, the yeah. balance in transport. Yeah, you want to keep enough yeah, balance. Yeah, yeah. So a square is more balanced than like an L. Right. And that's why I would take But still he, he makes a one. great point though about yeah. the and then the, the right hand thing makes a lot of sense cuz you know if you take that one then that'll topple and yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It's good. It's good. It's good. We should yeah. I feel less like yeah. absolute totally. like you're a crazy yeah. person if you don't agree, but I still would choose the, what I would choose. Yeah, same. He's making points about uh Transit. Cakes, trans, who's transporting cakes? That's out also a good point, Marco. No, I think I, that went into my thought process as well. Because you pick yeah, it up. No, yeah, 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 you, yeah. You pick even it up. Even if you're going to you, move them. Exactly. Yeah, even if you're going to move them to exactly. like the, the island or These something. These things matter, yeah. The island, like Epstein's Island. If you bring it to Epstein's Island. If you're bringing the cupcakes um, to Epstein's <laughs> Island, then, you know, uh, you want to have yeah. them balanced so they don't fall all over each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you bring it to the Camden Islands. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right, yeah. cool. That's good. That was a good one, Rob. Thank Thanks, you. And that Rob. was not boring. And you know that. And and I get why you like the podcast. Well, that was a joke. He didn't he didn't mean it was boring. If you really thought no, it was I, really I know, boring, I know that. I know that. I, yeah, I know that. But I'm saying afterwards. Gonna fight afterwards. Yeah. It mean you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean the worst angle. Hey, Matt and Chris, Joel from Canada here. What's up, Joel. Uh, Chris, on, con on congratulations the other day, you said how it's so bitch to sit in the passenger seat while uh your girlfriend or your wife yeah. drives i mean i could not disagree more yeah, I, I don't need I matt don't, to chime in on yeah, this i'm curious little, to hear yeah. what he thinks what could be more alpha than having yeah. like yeah. a hot woman chauffeuring <laughs> you around while yeah. you sit in the passenger seat doing whatever you want mess around on your phone sitting looking out the window like this creeping people out on the highway whatever you want i think it's the best so i'm curious to hear what matt so, has to say Thanks. So, okay, I I, I get ahead, what this guy's first. saying, yeah, and yeah. he makes a valid point. <clears throat> I ranked them though. I ranked the most bitch to least bitch of what. It wasn't saying that that was so bitch necessarily. It was saying <clears throat> two guys, a guy and a girl, in a uh, in the front seat and, and the driver's seat, passenger seat, driver's seat, right. The guy driving is the most the shit and the girl in the passenger seat. Switch that. That's more bitch, I'd say. Okay. Now, if there's two guys, the biggest bitch is the guy in the passenger seat, not the guy driving. It doesn't make... Okay. Would you agree with if there's a guy driving, you, the more yeah. bitch position is the passenger seat? Is are either one of them though? Like I, I, what I don't get is why is it, why is it at all? Hey, I'm going. Around, hey, I'm driving. Hey, we'll go wherever the fuck I want. You, yeah. Okay. You know. Well, and yeah, guys and, like this. Well, I don't. I, what if I don't want to? In that go, case, yeah. Then, yeah. then of course. Yeah. But that's not typically what's happening in a car. <laughs> uh, but I, I do. So wait, you were saying it's the most the I, so I said the the third third most bitches if you're in the passenger and your girl's driving. 
The fourth is if you're in the passenger and, you're, and a guy's driving. Uh, oh, so it's not the most no. of all of them. Okay. Okay. Well, I look based on what I he understand thought, what he's saying. I agree with him. I get it. Yeah. But if you're clarifying, then okay. But I don't. I don't. But but there's that there's that thing where if the shit hits the fan, uh huh, you got to be in control. Now that is now you're a bitch. If the shit hits the fan and you're in the passenger seat, you're a bitch. But what is what constitutes shit hitting the fan? Like what is that? An asteroid hits the earth. Okay, and then what how are you so bitch when Oh no, go go that way. Like, go there, go you're like, oh, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> and the guy's just like that guy's cool. This guy's cool. I got it, I got it. The other guy's like, look, 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 there's an opening. That guy's a bitch. Okay, but that wasn't part of the what I understand the hypothetical. But you debate. always have to go when the shit hits the fan, you know? Because look, it's not bitch to get into the back of a car that is a coupe with two doors unless the curb's in the way, unless it's too high, unless you got to precarious to do That's the shit hitting the fan. I think it is a bitch to be in the back of a coupe, no matter what, though, honestly. Like, like, a, like to I be guess. in the back of like a Porsche Boxster with a top down? I mean, there's nothing yeah, more no, you're right. you're right. you're than right. that, you're right. dude. You're right. You're right. You're right. You can't be in the back of a Boxster with a top down. You can't be in the I back of anything. I said getting in, though. I said getting in, though. Not, oh, not getting in when you got to push the seat forward? Oh, that's the very no, the, most uh, bitch. Uh, yeah. Nah, nah. Because you're like this. You're like kind of oh, like. But that's the shit hitting the fan. The precariousness is the shit hitting the fan. If you just, if you just, or if there's nothing in the way and you just go like this. That's not bitch. But if you're in the curb and you're like this, <laughs> then that's bitch. That's the shit hitting the fan. Not, I rest our case, Your Honor. That's not the shit hitting the fan. That's just like. No, I know, but I'm saying in that situation, it's the shit hitting the fan. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, the shit hit the fan in the backseat. You know? <laughs> I got in like a bitch. The curb is too high. The shit hit the fan. Let's go. Go to White Castle. Don't have just two doors on a car. Everybody. Well, no. Do if you have two seats. No. Yeah. No. That's right. I have four Correct. seats. I right, have two right, seats. Right, right, right. If you only have, I, I have if that, you right. only have two doors, you can only have two seats. That's a new law. But bucket seats for are good. U.S. Though. car manufacturers. Yeah, but bucket seats are fine. What's that? Bucket seats are the seats that are when when you have two doors, you got two two like bucket seats in the back. Is that what they're called? Bucket seats. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like it. But that's weird. You never heard bucket seats, and I, I haven't I heard have the other thing. I have heard bucket seats, oh, but have? not in the context Got of it. the back of a car. So you didn't know what bucket seats was? I know what a bucket seat is, like at a movie theater, uh-huh. but I never heard it in the back of a car, and it doesn't make sense. So I thought it it, uh, it kind of makes sense, does it? Well, I don't know. It should uh, just be walking yeah. back, walking back. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Should be all good. Well, I got a new scratch on my glasses. Pissed. <laughs> Pissed, dude. These glasses. <clears throat> These sunglasses I gave to Calvin the other day, oh, and they're, they're just yeah, dude, dude. It's like Cloud City. I know, I know, I know what you can say, but but I I've cleaned them four times, and they're still got his. I don't know how they're still on there, but they're still Calvin, on. when he was like eight months old, we were playing. He ripped my glasses off because baby babies always mm-hmm. rip glasses off of faces. It's fun. I thought it was cute. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I was like, oh yeah, those are my glasses. Mm-hmm. I'm my glasses. He goes mm-hmm. like, this. ah yeah, what's the glass? And then he goes like this. <laughs> and yeah. just a huge scratch directly in the center of my favorite pair of glasses thanks calvin but you said you liked it i like it because it makes me think of him but i don't like it when it gives me a headache because i wear them too long that's like my shoulder pain because he ma- i reached back for something for him because he was crying and, and then I, I i i fucking hurt my shoulder it's been hurting for a month and a half but and every time he does it I, every time every time it hurts now when i do something which is a lot mm-hmm. i go like this oh fuck and i go eh, at least i got it from doing something for calvin oh uh, like that That's yeah great. so if you hear if you're near me in public <laughs> and you hear me go oh oh then you know what i'm doing mm-hmm. yeah yep cool uh yeah so that's cool all right <clears throat> all right all right want to do another one matthew mcconaughey yeah yeah sleeping hey chris i man i just woke up and if uh, I mean, like her, you'll listen, it? you'll hear why. I heard her, her boyfriend's like this. We're doing a lifeline. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Bird. Oh, Birds. my God, dude. Didn't we just talk about this? Hang on. That bird wakes me up every morning at the ass crack of dawn. Oh, I'd kill it. Dude. Chirping outside my window. And my question is. What do I do? I live in the South. I could. Yes, you could. You know. Kill it. Sit out there one morning. Yeah. And 
take care of it. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can't I, wear earplugs. It gives me headaches. I know what would happen if it was me. And this bird is driving me insane. And I can't believe that such a tiny <laughs> little creature is impacting my life this way. <laughs> what would you do? That's funny. Thanks. So uh, this this oh. exact thing has been happening to me for the last couple of weeks. It's not oh, every day. It's like four or five days a week. Okay. I so much to the point that I, I a couple of times I went out there to try to find it to see what kind of bird it was. So if I could Google how to get rid of this kind of bird, or whatever. It was. It ended up being a uh, mo- a northern mockingbird, and obviously in L.A., there's nothing you can do about that. You can't just fucking shoot a bird. In well, LA. you can't shoot a bird, but who are you gonna tell? You know what? Well, who's gonna tell? Well, the gun's gonna go off. You use a um, well, BB gun. Yeah, I thought about that. Hey, hey, hey. slingshot. Oh, uh, uh, archery. Archery. So I thought about a BB gun. But Poison? then there's the possibility of missing Poison? and hitting a house or a person even Look. worse. <laughs> no, but I came missing. upon yeah. the solution <laughs> and you're not going to, no one's going to believe me until it happens to you and you try this. You have to play Enya. Take a blanket. It's, it's so nice, it's so nice. What is that? It's that was the worst sound I've ever heard in my life. That's the Enya song. Mayonnaise? Oh, wow. wow, dude. Just my <laughs> mic's so high, you know? <laughs> Take a blanket. <laughs> the blanket? Take a blanket. Lay it. Like, lay on your side. Hmm? Yours? You put the. What? It's nothing to do with the bird? You don't do. You lay, take a blanket. Lay on your side. <laughs> yes. No, the bird. You can't do anything about the fucking bird. It's a bird. <laughs> I hate when they lay on blankets on their side. <laughs> you lay on your side. Take a blanket. Put a blanket over the side of your head. Okay. So one ear is covered by the pillow. The other ear is covered by the blanket. Mm-hmm. It's going to sound like, well, of course, you're still going to hear the bird. You can hear other things. The pitch of the sound of the bird will be obstructed by the blanket. And it will not reach your ear. I promise you. It. it I what? solved this fucking problem. Just the other day, this is no bullshit. But now, what, maybe it has to be the kind of blanket that I have. I don't know. But the kind, of, I tried it with two different blankets just to be like, and what the worked. fuck? Why does this work? And it worked. What? what about, I could hear construction. I could hear anything else. What about, did it, did it, it's hilarious. If it, every time you go, the bird goes, right. But um, what about, was it hot though? I don't like that. Sometimes you put the thing over your head, it's hot. Yeah. It, it if could be, but if the up. AC's on, you're fine. But also, it's been chilly in the True. morning, so. But yeah, dude, that's crazy. It was. I have no no idea why this worked. Yeah. I was so desperate. I was like, ah, and I just took a blanket. I was like, wait, did it stop? And then I move it fast, and it would just be still going. And then I put it back oh, and be try done. That. If, I wish it worked. I for hope she watches the things. fucking show because it it absolutely worked. If it doesn't work, write us back, and I'll find out what kind of blanket I have. I promise you, it'll work though. Um, I. <clears throat> here's what would happen if it was me i would get a gun i'd go i'd, I'd w- get out there five in the morning ready <laughs> get it <laughs> time lapse what is that what is this uh, the bird became part of the oh, earth. Decomposing. Then, yeah. yeah, yeah. Time lapse. And so... Uh, <clears throat> time lapse. Voguing. Voguing, dude. A uh, flower? A flower? Flower dying. Flower blooming. Flower then dying. Then now the flower's dead on the ground. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So... um <clears throat> Everyone knew it. You don't need to. No one, no one knew what you were doing. Dude. Nobody knew what so, you were doing. All right, but try it, dude. I, I, I it, obviously, if I heard that, no, I'd be like, "That." Is I horseshit. didn't tell you what, what what would happen if I did it. What it wasn't the time lapse thing. It was more. I got carried away. <laughs> time lapse thing, right? right. <laughs> um, and then go to sleep next day, next morning. 
I shot the wrong bird. Right. No way that doesn't happen to me. Yeah, which is why you don't shoot the bird. Right? Then, sh- then, then, then you do what? <laughs> well, you could try to kill the right bird. You don't have to go straight to yourself, you know? No, the blanket thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. No, uh, try the blanket. I promise you it'll work. <laughs> Was that a laugh that you were going to sip something and then... Yes, dude. That Pavarotti fucking... The bird would like it. Oh, they're playing the fucking thing. I found out what kind of bird it was that came to my house. What? I found out what kind of bird it was. That no, came I to heard my house. you. Yeah. What kind of bird? Oh, a northern mockingbird. Oh, you said that? Yeah. Well, you didn't respond. I'm getting don't you two songs know, mixed up. Don't you want to know how? Oh, okay, keep going. Yeah. The blanket thing. Don't you want to know how I knew what kind of bird it was? You saw it? I have an app for that. What? I have an app that I put it up to a bird and it tells me what kind of bird it is. If It could be wrong. Give me a pound on that. It tells you how likely it is that it's that. What percent was it? That was 100%. It was a, it was a mocking. I saw the bird and I was like, is that? And then I Googled Mockingbird. It was that. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm mixing up two songs yesterday. I thought so, dude. That one, yes. That one is You're the one that I want to Guys always play the, in the park and the violin and try to get money. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the other one is. Hey, sail away, sail oh, away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Those are different. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Which one did the birds not like? <clears throat> the first one. The annual one. Yeah. Okay. But then also, probably they wouldn't like the other one. Okay. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> Next one. What's going on, Chris and Matt? My name is Brandon. The fire nice is raging you. while he does this. On the last episode, you were talking about, Chris, how you were waiting to turn left. You're yeah. waiting for the car to pass you so you could turn left. But last minute, they turned right. So now you're pissed because you could have gone that whole time. I get that because my scenario is one of my biggest pet peeves is when I pull up to a four-way stop sign mm-hmm. or two-way, whatever. <clears throat> yeah. There's another car opposite of me. They get to their stop first. Yep. So by Already. law, by rules, yes. by rights, they have the right of way. Yes. Right? So they stop first and then I get to my stop and they start to wave me down. Go ahead, go ahead. And I'm like, no, I know my rights. You go. Mm-hmm. I know the law. And they're they're persistent. No, you go, you go. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll go. I start going and then they pull out and we both stop and now it's an awkward standoff. Am I being dramatic about this? Do I go in the first wave or do I what? <clears throat> go by the I law? Have a, I know. You, when when it, you're driving, mm-hmm. the first wave, it's over. Yep, that's it. You go. don't... <clears throat> There's no more it, waves. It's waving. too much. It, it yeah. gets too muddled and confusing. Hey, go ahead. I give up my right away. You don't give up your right away for someone giving up your right away. That's mm-hmm. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, you give it right away? I'm on. Right, right, right. right? Yeah, yeah. But the person shouldn't even give up the right away. No. I mean, but if they decide to, okay. <clears throat> well, no, it's annoying all around. If someone gets to the stop, the the law, as he's saying, the law is yeah. whoever gets there first yeah. has the right of way. If you get there at the same time the as the right. someone else, it's the person to the right. Exactly. Uh, but if it's just directly across from you, it's a two-way stop sign. Right. It doesn't matter because you're facing them. Oh, and yeah. it does So unless you're going left and the other person's going straight right, right, right. or vice versa, oh, yeah. in which case it sounds like what that guy was talking about. In which case, the person going left doesn't get to go. The person going straight goes. Right. And all of this is entirely obvious. Now, the person that <laughs> gets there first and waves, mm-hmm. fuck that person. Just get there first wow. and go. You're wasting I your agree. Own. I don't know if I'd say fuck that person, but yeah. It's just like, just go, dude. You're wasting everybody's time. Just uh, yeah, you but got you can there be, first and everyone knows. Yeah, you can be polite though once, but it, the second it goes beyond that, you're like, all right, dude, these people are assholes. Both of them. Dynafire. I mean, took it so far after saying it. Dynafire go directly to hell. <laughs> yeah, dude. I um, I hate I hate that kind of shit. But I agree. If someone waves you, they're waving their they are whether you know the law or not. The law goes out the window if someone's like, "Come on." Yeah. Then yeah, you're yeah, not breaking the law. No, no, no. Right. Yeah. By by. Right, you know, right, right. No, I know the law. They're like, like they're trying to set them up. You know. Yeah. Like, right. Nah, I don't trust this motherfucker. Entrapment. Like yeah. just entrapment for no reason. Yeah, dude. <laughs> also. I know this bothers you when I do this, but that guy had incredibly beautiful eyes. Why do you do it? Because he did. And it's when so someone guy, has... So did a guy before that. You didn't say anything about it. So it's like you pick I guess juice. I didn't think that. Which guy? You don't even remember. It couldn't have been Just that Just why do you talk about people's eyes so much? Because 
a lot of people have beautiful eyes and it's good to tell them about it. One time a guy had beautiful lips and you got so mad at me for saying that. But you never get mad when I say a woman has a beautiful something or other. I think you're homophobic. No, it's because... <laughs> are you gay? It's because... Uh, <clears throat> why is that? Yeah, it's worth examining, right? Mm. Thank you. I think it's because I think you're... I led you to examine it. Thank you. I facilitated uh, examination. Thank you. Sounds kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, facilitated examination. Thank you. All right, we want to do another one? Or do you want to figure out what the reason is that bothers you? No, I, I think it's because it's just you do it... Well, you do it more with guys. Oh, let's do... Let's see. Let's no. From here on forward, we'll see who's... Yeah, who, please don't what? go back and do a counting thing. No, no, I won't. No, no, Which no, is every you. episode, you know? Not you. Yeah. Rob, go back and count every no, episode. Yeah, I said something that looked beautiful. Okay, it's gotta next. Be. Next. next. What's going on, Look guys? Look how I'll beautiful make it quick. this guy is. Do you guys is. have any super small grammatical errors that get under your skin? It's not enough to bring it up, but it's just enough to bother you. Uh, I have a friend who says... Uh, how much M&Ms are there instead of how many? Oh, that's bad. Uh, or, hey, how's work going? Work is going good instead of work is going well. That's a little It's just super small that's stuff okay. like that that gets under my skin. It's not enough to bring it up. Mm. Um, do you guys have anything like that that just gets under your skin or just bothers you a little bit? Let me know. Yeah, work's going good. I'll guys notice good it. good style, huh? Uh, is glasses he are sick. Luke Perry? The hexagon glasses are <clears throat> sick. <clears throat> nah, it's okay. 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 It, for him, yeah. Not for me. Right. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, there are like the, I know, I always know, I, well, not always, but I notice the work's going good. I notice that one a lot, but it doesn't bother me. That one doesn't bother me. Um, how much M&Ms is that, that's, idiotic. How much M&Ms? Uh, yeah, that, 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 that would bother me, but I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't say anything about it. I might be like, oh, so foreign, like if it was you, but how much M&Ms? That would bother me. No, but that wouldn't idiotic. bother me enough to say something, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is what he's talking about. Right now. Yeah. Right. 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 Should have. Instead should of should of? have, yeah, that's really common though, dude. So, Super common. So many, people but it, do that. It, it it's it's so dumb because it's just straight up a different word. Well, it just doesn't make sense though, right. too. Um, and should then there's of is not something. And then there Anthony does it, and then there's probably Anthony does it, and then there's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and then there's um, other ones too. But that one that one drives me nuts, bro. Yeah, there are a lot of them but I, I i don't know if any of them bother me enough to say something like sometimes you can tell when someone's doing the wrong two when they're saying it what when they but sometimes you could tell someone's saying the wrong two t-o-o or t-o-o or t-o-o or t-o how can you what do you mean because <laughs> you know they're an idiot and they're just like yeah same you know me too and they're t-o and you're like oh, i mean t-o the fucking idiot uh, i don't know if you can do that if they're just talking because it's the same sound well, i got really good ears <laughs> so stupid mm -hmm. but yeah i don't know if there's any well wow, dad would think that's funny grammatical <sighs> it, it, here's the thing that dude. bothers me enough to be like hey you know that that's wrong like that's so i'll make fun of someone before i'm likely to correct yeah them. but if i was saying should have people do that so or supposedly well that's just the wrong word that's not even so like... So he should have. But no, I'm saying they're saying a word that... Uh -huh. That's a word that doesn't uh -huh. exist. Should uh -huh. of is the wrong FBI, word. FBI, I've been telling you forever. I'm not really your brother. <laughs> so no, stupid. but I just... I, I understand, but I just... Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, supposedly I, you're just trading out a, a D for a B. That's stupid. I know. I know. Are you saying should have isn't a word or should of? It's, is, it's is should a, have, yeah. not should of. Right. But should have is fine. Okay. Yeah. But um, right. it's mostly, honestly, when it's written out, people write should OV or yeah. OF. OV. OV. Wow. OV. You know? <laughs> uh, should but, should um, OV. Should OV, baby. And, um, but, but, uh, it's just a, t it's a, it, I think, I mean, most of the time, if most of the time, I think if you're pointing out written grammatical errors, you're being corny because who really cares? It, it's a comment on fucking YouTube, you know, most of the time. Um, yeah, maybe it's like what, the bottom wait, wait, level. Wait, 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 of, you, I'm losing the argument. Oh, yeah. Well, you misspelled your. But so, wait, so you mean when it's written out, but you yeah. are talking to me. I'm way more forgive, forgiving. Because it's like people yeah. always say the wrong thing, right. even when right, they're right, right, right. True. meant to say the but right thing. But if you thing. say, if you, if I notice you're saying should of, 
Yeah. I would tell you, yo, just so you know, you're doing it wrong. It should have, not should of. And I don't know if you know you're doing it, but. You would? You're my brother. Yes. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't guess. want you to. Uh, what if somebody else sees it? Like, That's because yeah, I want to do business with uh, It's different for me when there's some people are speaking or when they're writing. When they're writing and they say should of. Because what I think is sometimes people know it should have. But when they're speaking, they should, might be yeah. saying should have. Uh, shoulda is different, you know. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah if you write yeah. down should of, you just. Well, maybe you don't maybe, have a brain, really. Yeah. Okay. Right. You right, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that one's more of a written one. Eating pizza. Eating pizza. Uh, well. Okay. I'm gonna be in Duluth. It's. Are you gonna be in Duluth twice? Is that what that said? Nope. Okay. Chrisley.com. I'm gonna be in Duluth. I'm gonna be in Lexington. I'm gonna be in Wichita. I'm going to Wichita. You know what the rest is? A seven meow, nation meow, army meow. couldn't hold me oh, back. I thought you meant the guitar part. Okay. Uh, Beaumont, McAllen. These are all new dates. London, Ontario, Peterborough, Ontario. Uh, yeah. And then Australia and New Zealand. Why does Ontario and love you so much? You, you, Ontario is a, yeah, I, 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 yeah. It's a good town for comedy, but I do, I, a good city for comedy, but I, or actually it's a, a province. Uh, yeah, whatever yeah. you call it. Um, but I, I do well there, yeah. Yeah, um, I noticed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know. People get mad every time. Because I, I do Ontario so much. People are like, come on, man. Why not just, you know, Calgary or whatever the fuck that Winnipeg. Was. Yeah. You know, uh, well, Winnipeg what about... Winnipeg is a city, uh, though. What's the... What about uh, Toronto, right? Manitoba. Manitoba, no. right? Know. You know, know. Edmonton, right? Alberta. That's Alberta. Like, come on to Alberta, right? All right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So so get the Lifeline Luxury. Uh, it's Patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury, yeah. to be more specific. And then... <laughs> don't forget... Still doing that, huh? Okay. Well, let me know when you stop because I'll go back to liking you more than I do now. Can't. Uh, you like me already the most. Yeah. The private record. All that shit. It's over it. MattDelia.com. It's over all it. that shit. It's over it. Uh, Lifeline merch at LifelineMerch.com. All that shit.com. Trying to start a catchphrase. Going to sell merch. All that shit.com. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Top. Dude. 18 minutes I was recording a voice note for, for our family. Oh, my God. If I sent it, imagine. All right, all right. Want to do another one? There it is. I can